first law says that an object will remain at rest or at constant motion unless acted upon by an external force. For example, an aeroplane moving at constant velocity and constant altitude has a driving force forward, an air resistance acting in the opposite direction to the driving force, a weight acting downwards and a lift acting upwards in the opposite direction to weight. It's moving at constant velocity and constant altitude, so the air resistance is equal to the driving force and the lift is equal to the weight. Objects on Earth stop because of friction. When you roll a ball, you expect it to stop. In space, there is no friction, so objects and spacecraft can keep moving without the need for rockets. Use when on the Earth's surface, we need rockets on a spacecraft in order to get it out, but once it escapes the atmosphere, there is no air resistance or friction. Some more examples of Newton's first law and free body diagrams include a book resting on a table. There's a weight acting downwards and a resistive force from the table pushing upwards on the book. The book is at rest because the forces are balanced. There is no external force creating an unbalanced force. A car moving at a constant speed forward has friction acting in the opposite direction to the engine's driving force. The car moves at a constant speed because the frictional forces are equal to the engine force. Newton's second law says that the acceleration of an object varies directly with unbalanced force and inversely with mass. This means that an increasing, an increasing unbalanced force increases acceleration and increasing mass decreases acceleration. This is shown through the formula A equals F over M, which can be rearranged to F equals MA, where F is the force in Newtons, M is the mass in kilograms and A is acceleration in meters per second to the minus two. The F in Newton's second law is always the unbalanced force, and this usually has to be found by using the applied force take away the frictional force to find the unbalanced force in the direction the acceleration is in. A 900 kilogram car accelerates. Its engine force is 2 kilonewtons and the frictional force is 200 newtons. What is the acceleration? First, we need to find our unbalanced force. F U N. Our applied force is 2,000 newtons and our frictional force is 200 newtons. This means that our unbalanced force is 1,800 newtons. A equals F over M and we know that our unbalanced force is 1,800 newtons. Our mass is 900 kilograms, which simplifies to give us an acceleration of 2 meters per second.